<clears throat> our, excuse me, our battle is a spiritual battle. You don't know that. Some of you are discovering it. Men and women are discovering it. But once you really see what's going on, and then once you see how deep, deep, way deep unconscious you are, when you can see the depths of your unconscious state of being, it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, what the? But it's a mess, so wake up. You can wake up. The world has nothing to give you. And the only thing the world offers you are opportunities to stay asleep, to stay unconscious. And the world wants you unconscious. And the world work overtime. When I say the world, I mean everybody in the world, not just the politicians, the preachers and teachers, but your, yourself, your family members, your children, your husband, your wife, your friends, your, every, your co-workers, everybody wants you unconscious. And you want to be unconscious and you want everybody else to be unconscious because you can live off each other and you call it life. You call it life. You call death life and life death. What a mess. What a mess. Another mess is I, I was reflecting. I was seeing some stupid stuff with Camilla Harris. It almost and I, I, I it almost looked like that Camilla Harris running for president is like a, a game. <laughs> it's like a joke. It's like it's not real. It's just it it just seemed like they put Somebody decided to put the dumbest student in class into the front of the classroom and pretend that they're smart. And the teacher to give them an A even when they have not earned it. And and the kid that show up at school and sit up in class and the teacher put put them on the front her he or her put them on the front row and pretend they're smart. It's like It's like, I can't really, it's like Camilla Harris' lights are not on at all. It's like, it's like she's driving down the road and it's midnight and she's down in the country and there are no street lights and she's driving down the road without turning her lights on. I, I I just never seen in a big way I've not seen anyone this empty. Camilla Harris is like a Asperger patient. You know what an Asperger is, right? They call it Asperger name. Wait, say that again? A Asperger. Wait, hold on. Right? Yeah, I think that's a medical condition. Is it? Something like that. At least it it's close like, to that. It seems like a lot of young people have Asperger. So I'm wondering if it's even real. I might have Asperger. Asperger? Well, I noticed a lot of millennials has Aspergers. I'm just joking, Jesse. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, well. <clears throat> it seems to be a popular thing right now. I don't know if people really have it or or the... <laughs> Or the uh, counselors and doctors tell them they have it so they can give them medication, but they really don't have it. I, I don't know. Because I, I really don't know what an Asperger is. I don't know what it, I don't. I don't know if it makes you, like, dumb or, or whatever. Maybe y'all know out there, I don't understand, it, and I really don't. I'm not just saying it. But it's so wrong with Camilla Harris. It's like it's like she's not able to think at all. So I'm just wondering. 
I want to give you an example of something she did the other day that it looked like you wouldn't do it if you were running for president. And I remember Hillary Clinton went into a black church and she did somewhat the same thing. You notice how all the women, not all, but these women that are running for uh, in politics, they scream a lot. They like screaming and it just hurts your ears. It made the dog start howling. And like when a fire truck go by, it hurt the ears of a dog, and the dog start barking, howling. These women are screaming, and it sounds like that. We showed you Big Mama Michelle yesterday screaming, and it hurt your ears. I wonder why when a woman scream, it hurt your ears. When men yell like that, it settles you down. Haven't you noticed the difference? Here's Camilla Harris unveil her new pastor accent during a church service in Philadelphia. Watch this from X. Weeping may endure for a night, <laughs> but joy cometh in the morning. <laughs> the path may seem hard, the work <laughs> may seem heavy, but joy cometh in the morning, <laughs> and church morning is on its way. <laughs> I bet that makes Satan and all the demons want to go hide. They're like, what the? That's so silly. That is like silly. And she's supposed to be running for president. Why somebody to say, no, no, don't do that. And I'm wondering once she got back to her office and they reviewed the video, did she see how silly she is? It's almost like her running for president is a game. Like, uh, uh, it's not like real. You get nothing from it at all. I want to just play that one more time. In case you missed it, and I want you to just look at how she is like. She doesn't mean anything about joy in the morning, it, it, and she's she's not even saying it with her natural voice herself. It's an act. It, it is it is worse than an act. Watch this again from X. This woman at church pretending to be a pastor or well, whatever she's doing. Watch this. Weeping may endure for a night. <laughs> Who speak that way? joy cometh in the morning. The path may seem hard, the work may seem heavy, but joy cometh in the morning. <laughs> and church morning is on its way. <laughs> what an idiot. What she think? She had a play or something? It reminded me of the fallen Messiah, Barack Obama. He used to do that too at the black churches or whatever. He gave talks. Big Mama Michelle did that yesterday. We played that sound bite. And I remember Hillary Clinton going to a black church. I'll fear no way turn. I feel like going on. And the black audience just applaud. They don't know they're being made a fool of. It's like they don't know it made them look silly and their little religion thing seem fake. It seemed like it's an act. They applaud that mess when these people come to their church and do that. These politicians are actors and actresses on a stage and the black audience in the church Applauding like they're worshiping Jesus. It's so silly. I don't know how anyone fall for it. But they're applauding because she's joy coming to moan. That's not how you do it. You don't normally. I know the black preachers yell like that, but she's a politician. Why don't she go in there and just be in a politician way? Lie. 
amazing. Here's one more soundbite from Camilla Harris. She, um, uh, this is from X. Camilla Harris rally crowd. Rally crowd is completely stopped by her, by after she tells them to all start shouting their own name. So apparently Camilla Harris is telling the crowd at her little rally to they were shouting Camilla at first. Then she said to shout your own name and they felt silly. Watch this. Because it's about all of us. It's about all of us. And listen, Look at her. I have fought my whole career to put the people first. Do you really want that empty shell running your country? The Allah U Abba people must be having a party at the idea that this could possibly be the next president of the United States. It's over. And when I say it's over, it's over for, for the country. Our enemies will overtake us. <laughs> 